April 8th, solar eclipse. Full, total solar eclipse. Hello everyone, I'm Psychic Medium Connie Rose and I'm going to be channeling some information from our spirit team in regards to the April energy, um, especially around the eclipse. There's been a lot of media, there's been a lot of hype and I want to see what spirit wants to bring to give us a message because there is heightened energy. There is very much unrest. We've been told planetarily that April is the most uneasy month of 2024 energetically. So in that, we need to keep our head above water. Uh, we've got Mars that's thrown in um, to the mix and Mars is actually the, the planet of war. So if there's you know disagreements going on, if there's war already happening in different parts of the world, it's set in energetically to intensify. Um, and you know, there's some countries out there even bringing back the conscription um, setup, which is, you know, trying to get more people military trained. So look, there's things happening um, that are quite unsettling, but I know that um, there's more, there's, there's at least, you know, 80%, 90% even of the world's population that, that wishes and wants to live in a world of love and peace. So that's big stats. Know that we're one of those people, right? So I know that Spirit wants to come in just to give everybody a beautiful cuddle, a beautiful cuddle through this this month especially um, and and know that look Mercury's in retrograde as well which is the the planet of communication um, and technology so don't be surprised if um, you know you lose communication um, with someone whether or you know you might butt heads and, and not see eye to eye and not be able to speak the phones can cut out electricity the grid can go down all different things like that so it's a real month of being sensible um, and choosing which timeline you want to live on which one you want to exist on so we can have a timeline of fear we can literally be going okay let's see what the media is saying at the moment the media is saying that you know um, we're gonna have a solar eclipse I also know the government's even firing rockets um, in between um, you know close by to the eclipse to have a look at the change in the atmosphere um, for science um, and interrupting uh, nature some more. Um, I know that there's a lot going on in our atmosphere regardless to eclipse or not. And I know there's a lot of interruption with nature, weather patterns. I know that man is stepping in and I know that in that space, we can become quite unsettled and natural rhythms are changing. And natural rhythms are not only for the collective, but within our bodies as well. So you might find currently you might be feeling a bit more anxious than usual. You might be having racing hearts. You might be, you know, your blood pressure might be peaking and dropping. You might be getting dizzy, lightheaded, ringing in your ears. Like a lot of symptoms. Symptoms can be happening very heightened at the moment as well um, and you'll find that you want to either talk about deep dark thoughts you want to talk about possibilities probabilities you, you really want to nut things out or you don't want to talk at all there's no top line conversations that you know how's the weather <clears throat> well that's <laughs> how's the weather right How's the weather? Um, top line conversations are, are very much, you either want to be fully transparent or not at all. Um, that's, that's what Spirit's giving me at the moment as a global collective message. I know also in this energy, Spirit wants to share with us that it's, we, we can choose what timeline we want to exist on, 100% we can. We can choose that we want to, you know, just hold our breath until the media tells us something else. Um, or we could just not worry about what the media is saying. And I'm saying media, but it could be, um, you know, people that you don't align with and, and they tend to want to share what's going on for them or, or what they believe or, you know, doomsday or all that 
shit. <laughs> be very mindful of what you're listening to and what you're absorbing and what you're taking on. There are other timelines that you can actually live. You don't have to live in the fear. You can literally say, okay, I'm aware of what's going on, but what I'm going to do with it is ascend. So we're going through uh, like a 3D existence, jumping into um, 5D, five dimensional. We're in the transit of it. We have been for some time now as a humanity. And what tends to be happening now is how I likened it, how I'm being shown is like all the different versions of ourselves, all the different parts of our personalities, all the different experiences we've been through, all the um, mentors we've had, all the guardians we've had, all the past lives we've had, it's all coming to the forefront now, including all our experiences, all our joys, all our traumas, all our losses. It's all coming at us. Now, what do we do with this? Well, <laughs> spirit, what do we do with this? We choose to know that everything is happening for us and we need to wipe the slate clean to ascend. We literally need to wipe the slate clean to ascend. So you will find things will be going on at the moment that is stuff that you thought you'd moved on from, that you dealt with, that's no more, but it's rearing its head. So it may very well be that you just swept it under the carpet. You didn't fully learn the lesson. You didn't do what needed to be done to make peace with it. It could be, um, you know, anxiety is back and it hasn't been here for a long time. It could be an ex-partner is back and, you know, or, or, or bullying's back from high school. Someone's doing it at work. Or it could be, um, you know, you, you've been okay financially and all of a sudden you've become bankrupt. Like, it could be that extreme. Um, and it's so that you can learn the lesson. Finally, you can tie up the nice bow. You can see the beautiful gift that this actually is because it hurts at the moment. It hurts at the moment. And it's up to us if we want to sit in it and hurt some more or if we want to go, I get it. It's smashing me because it's the last part of it before we all ascend as a collective. I've got the action the action card I know that there's a dark horse and there's a light horse and it feels as though the dark is behind us but it's still part of us we can never hide from it we can't ignore it we have to accept it embrace it and bring it with us but in a way that it helps us be stronger because no one's pulling the wool over our eyes anymore and if you see, that's number 17 as well. One and seven is eight. We're in the year of eight. Don't forget that. We're in the year of the biggest transformation yet. And we're all going through it. And it's time to know that we can't run from the darkness, but we can definitely bring it with us and we can embrace it and it can be part of us. We don't have to hide. We don't have to run. We don't have to ignore or deny. It's time that we stand up we realize what it is that needs to be done and do it. We realize what it is that needs to be done and do it because it's our reality. We're not getting told how to feel or what to do anymore. The, the revolution has started and we're well into it. We're well into it. Don't be surprised if there's fears of or potential fears of, um, I want to say airborne, okay, airborne illness to rear its head if it hasn't already, um, but it won't be anything that they want it to be because we're all going to take stock for our own immune systems 
and do what we need to do based on what we want to do. Very interesting, I get the action and I get then the rest and rejuvenation. Do what it takes, but sit back. Do what it takes, but sit back. Do what it takes, but sit back. Know what your message is. Your message here is to realize everything that's happening at the moment is for you to know exactly what needs to be forgiven, be accepted and released. Forgiven, accepted and released. I need to get another card because these two cards. <laughs> I'm going, I've got to think about this and then I get the thinking moment. <laughs> because it's almost like two ends of the scale, right? Two ends of the scale. You've got your action and then you've got your rest and rejuvenation. So it's like do a little bit, sit. Do a little bit, sit. Take the time to rest. You've got a plan. You've already got a plan. Oh, such, such a sigh of relief here because you're only responsible for yourself. You don't have to be responsible for the masses. You never had to either. You never actually had to. And then we get the healer of the ages. You're quite the healer yourself. You're very passionate, but it's time that you really let yourself pull back a little bit. Your immune system, your people, your family, set yourself up in a nice loving environment. Focus on your lessons, what are they? What do you need to learn? What do you need to accept? What do you need to let go of? because we're getting forced to look at things. We're getting forced, there is a massive shift. We're not going to come out the end of April the same. We're going to be much more enlightened, much more prepared, much more aware, and much more connected with each other. But in order for us to be able to connect fully with each other, there's still a little bit of shifting that needs to happen, and it's now, and it ain't pretty but it's very necessary to be able to catch our breath again and come together as one. Okay, and I'm just gonna get one more card to tie this up. This reading is for, for, for all of us too, by the way. All of us. Oh, which card is this one? <laughs> and reward yourself. Reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. The balance of giving and receiving is essential in keeping your energy, mind and motivation at a consistency, uh, as, as a, at a consistent high level. Yeah. Action, rest, reward. And that is our collective reading for April's energy. Now, while we're going through all of this, it's not going to be easy and it's not easy right now. And I'm feeling it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to share a beautiful energy meditation, healing with you all. So get yourself nice and comfy and I'll pop it in on this video for you. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And please share in the comments how you enjoyed this message and how it resonated with you. And if you have any wise words for the rest of us um, reading the comments and how you go with this meditation. Stay kind to everybody, babes. But especially be kind to yourself. Mwah. Peace out.
Now it's time for you to let it go. Whatever's on your mind, just let it go. Become nice and comfortable wherever you are. Take a beautiful big deep breath in and sigh it out. Let your body become relaxed. Release any tension just by setting the intention to let it all go. Allow your body to become heavy now. Feel Relax sensation moving all the way down, starting at the top of your head, relaxing all your scalp, moving on down over your forehead, releasing any tension as it moves over your eyes, your nose, releasing your jaw, relaxing your tongue, your chin, your neck, allowing you to release all the tension in your shoulders now. Your arms are becoming heavy. You're allowing yourself to really surrender. And really receive as your body relaxes even more. All the intricate muscles within your chest relax. Tension just dissolves in your rib cage, your heart space becomes warm as you feel the sensations throughout your solar plexus. All throughout the digestive system. It relaxes, your reproductive system relaxes, your hips relax. Allow that beautiful relaxing energy to flow down your legs, over your knees, over your calves and shins, your ankles and your feet. Your entire body is so heavy, relaxed, warm and comfortable. And from this space, you allow yourself to drift up out the top of your head. Allow yourself to float into that safe space that only you know about. That safe space where you can create. And in this space, allow yourself to feel free. Allow yourself to bring in whatever vision it is that you wish to create in your world. Allow yourself to bring in the colours, the people, the events, whatever it is that you truly desire now, the abundance, 
the wealth, the health, whatever you truly desire. This space is for you to create. This energy that you invite in is an intense manifesting power which is all yours. Now take this time to allow yourself to visualize the reality you choose. Take this time to create and to have exactly what you truly desire. Feel it. Create it. It is yours.
now becoming aware of your breath, allowing yourself to hear the sound of my voice, knowing that you have truly created the reality that you truly desire. And take this opportunity to feel back into your body as you realign, you regenerate, you recharge. If you choose to fall into a deep sleep, you'll have a restful night, waking up feeling so refreshed. But if you also choose to wake up now, allow yourself Just re-spark that feeling inside you, knowing that you have changed, that you have recharged, and as you wake up, you will feel more clarity than ever before. And when you're ready to continue, Come back into your body, becoming aware of your arms, your legs, the surface beneath you, the sound of my voice, being aware of being in a body. Wiggle your toes and fingers, and very gently come on back, feeling more aligned and clear than ever. For what you truly desire will be because you have already created it. <laughs>